Hey, Lawrence City Council, within the past hour discussing and debating this topic, ultimately unanimously voting to push this off until next month. This is a continuation of what's been at times a hotly contested and contentious discussion regarding this specific redevelopment in the North Hills area. One that has seen Kane Realty amend their initial plans to try and win over support and address community concerns, which touch on a number of issues from a lack of existing infrastructure to support the project to increase congestion in what's already a heavily traveled stretch. Kane Realty adding or amending two proposed conditions in their updated bid, lowering the building height from a maximum of 40 stories. Uh, that is now down to a maximum of 37 stories and backing no building permit to be issued for any new building in the Six Forks node until January 2026. A vote against this case is a vote against those things, against affordable housing, against meaningful public transit, against environmentally responsible growth, and placing density where it's deserved. Voting for this case will ensure that workers here will have meaningful routes to work and affordable places to live once they arrive here. Traffic. These concerns still exist, so we're going to push it off to 26 for a new bond to improve the traffic for the towers that are being built, uh, it, it just doesn't work. Traffic's gonna worsen with construction, with people. Today's meeting, just one week after the election, there will be new council members taking over. That, of course, could impact the future of this project. The council will next address this on Tuesday, December 6th. But Steve, Lauren, there's no guarantee even then we'll have any sort of resolution. We will, of course, stay on top of it, but it makes its way through City Hall. In Raleigh, Michael Perchick, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.